Hey everyone, back at it with another video and I recently passed Fundamentals of Spreadsheets and Data Presentations, also known as D388 at WGU. So I already use Excel in my day-to-day -day function at work and this class was extremely easy for me. So with that being said, I just signed up for the OA right away and I went through it only concern i have with this is i would i would go refresh myself through the material and not just jump straight into it because there are a few things that could trip you up i knew the majority of this stuff but for example i didn't know how to do the absolute values i couldn't remember for the exclamation point or the star sign however i could not get it for the life of me i ended up wasting about 30 minutes on the oa just messing around with one answer and I realized that, hey, I'm just sinking a bunch of time into this one question. I'll just push forward and get all the other answers done, then circle back to it. Yeah, um, I guess I can go through what I saw in the exam and something to keep note of. Make sure you know how to do functions. Make sure you're very uh, familiar with the function tool, like the average. Um, there's not as much sum or sum product on it if you already use Excel in your day-to-day -day job. Um, there is a big portion on pivot tables. There's actually four pivot tables you have to do and interpret the data, so make sure you know how to do that. Also, I highly suggest you download the Excel software itself and not just use the one in Outlook because mine was having issues and I was about to miss two of the pivot table questions just because, um, I guess, technical difficulties. That's the best way to put it. Another thing to keep note of is absolute functions, like I said, um, where you lock in one value in the column and then you pull it down and it just uh, automatically, uh, it automatically calculates that function. Um, that's why I got tripped up on. I didn't know how to lock it, so I ended up just manually putting it in. And I think that it took points off, but I know that was the only thing I missed on the exam. What else do we have? A lot of it is reading through these business scenarios for a car dealership and then interpreting that. Also, you're going to want to be familiar with using data validation. Basically, you select the fields or the row or column, you do data validate and you make sure that there's no duplicates. You also should be familiar with filter and sort because there's definitely a lot of those questions. Make sure you know how to use a table and calculate totals from that table. So you're going to do a lot of averaging questions. You're also going to be doing a lot of basic algebra like, oh, what is the miles per gallon on this trip how many miles per gallon did this worker use so make sure just to go through that and with all that being said i think if you take the pa learn that just get familiar with those questions that is exactly the same thing that's on the oa yeah um with that being said for taking the exam itself it took me an hour and a half so make sure you set some time aside I was having te technical difficulties and honestly, it wasn't hard. I just got confused with the way they initially presented the questions. So make sure you're prepared for that and block out two to three hours of time because I know most exams are two hours they give you. This one is three. So they know that this exam is long. However, if you study and you feel prepared or if you already know how to use Excel because you use it at your current job, I say just take it and you should be good. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me know how you guys uh, feel about this class. Thank you.